how did they mess up a bazooka? Hey guys, Charles here, and welcome back to Bad Weapons of Enlisted. In this video, I'll be talking about the M1 bazooka. More or less, I'll be talking about why it's so bad, and just really explaining its history, and why I think it's probably the worst anti-tank weapon in Enlisted, at least when it comes to projectile anti-tanks anti-tank weapons and not in including of course anti-tank rifles which probably are much worse than this thing to be honest but anyways let us begin with its history as always a bit of a brief history on the weapon so the americans were trying to develop a way to pierce armor and originally they were using rifle grenades this included the m1 rifle grenade launcher, the M2 rifle grenade launcher, the M7 rifle grenade launcher, and the M8 rifle grenade launcher. These were of course used on the Springfield, Enfield, M1917, the Garand, and the M1 carbine respectively. However, they would later develop what was later known as the bazooka. Originally, the original ones were the M1 bazooka. This used the M6 rocket, but the M6 was considered so it was notorious for being unreliable, ironic. It was then replaced with the M6A1 and this was issued to the M1A1 bazooka. So even in real life this thing wasn't even liked. So how the hell was it expecting how the hell would you expect it to work in enlisted? Anyways, that being said, let's move on to its stats in game. The bazooka is unlocked on two different campaigns. It's unlocked at level 30 for the Allies in Normandy and level 35, which is currently the max level in Tunisia. In both campaigns, it costs three silver orders. In terms of stats, you can see here it's got a warhead explosion power of 18. It has a muzzle velocity of 82, armor penetration of 60 millimeters, 48 rate of fire of a low speed of 2.8. 50-50 recoil and of course one round in the magazine and really the reason it's so bad is that armor penetration value at 60 for reference the piat has an 80 and the m and the m9 which is unlocked a little bit later in normandy has a lot has about 100 i believe it's like 102 i think so it's the lowest power, so it's in the middle of the road in Normandy and it's at the high end in Tunisia and it's just middle of the road really. When you come, it's worse than the Piat and it's worse than the, um, and it's definitely worse than the M9. So what's its advantage? Well it can have, it has the range advantage. Which, you know, normally that would be pretty good. But the M9 has pretty much almost the exact same range. The Piat can be used decently at mid-range. And really, that range advantage doesn't really mean much in the long run. If anything, the aim advantage just gives the bazooka... Like, it gives it more of a weakness because, yeah, oh, we can kill things further away. So, so could, the M9 can do that as well. That's the real problem with the M1, it's just that this thing doesn't do much damage, it struggles to kill most tanks, and, but, like, I don't even use it anymore, like, I never used it when it came out, I just, I just stuck with the Piat. Nowadays, I just buy the M9, and in Tunisia, when I finally unlock it in Tunisia, I'm just going to stick with the Piat, because the Piat is just better than this. As well as this, what it's up against is really insulting. It's supposed to be up against the Panzerfaust in Normandy and the Vaketten Panzerbuschel in, in Tunisia. And both of these things eclipse this in pretty much every way other than range. The Faust, of course, not really too good at range. And the Vaketten obviously is just a god tier anti tank weapon, so I don't really understand this, and it's why it's coming in as a bad weapon. Like, why was it even needed? Like, I can understand if they gave us the M9 at the same time as this, or maybe even given us some, I don't know, or make this cheaper. But the problem with the bazooka is it just. 
it's free silver orders on both times, and it's better to stay, stick with the Pia hat, to be honest, on both occasions. Anyways, I'm just going to end this video here. That's really all I've got to say. It's just, it's just a bazooka. And it's a bad bazooka at that. Yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave your thoughts in the comments what you guys think of this weapon. You know, let me know what you guys think. Is it the... Is it as bad as I make it out, or do you think it's as, or do you think its range actually is an advantage? Let me know in the comments. You know, obviously, join the Discord if you, you know, if you want to um, talk to me or you know have a few, have a game or two, and I'll see you guys in the next video.